You know, the hardest thing to come to terms with in this world is when you're trying your ultimate best to be that shining light, that beacon of hope, that support to those who have no idea of what support looks like. Don't even know if that individual is going to be willing to accept what is being given because you have to acknowledge and see that the need is desired before one can even begin to grasp on the concept that something good is going their way. So, you know, those those areas, they're kind of profound when you get to that point where you don't even know if what it is you're doing is going to be that breath of fresh air, that beacon of hope. But you continue to keep doing it. And that's what is happening. See, what is going on is the shine is trying to be taken from the glory of the Most High, which elevates and revels through you, right? So if you were to give up or turn your focus in another direction or get angry at an individual, you use energy that sh- that is distracted that could normally be used for something good, okay? So let me tell you, when people try to take your shine, it's going to happen all the time. That is the second you're about to be catapulted up if you just hold on. If you just have the ultimate belief in yourself, you're going to be able to make it to that next level. And that's what's happening. You're leveling up. You're bossing up. And you're doing things that most people can't do that's right in the area of doing what it is that you do, but they just didn't have a face. They gave up, right? So you are a worthwhile person. And your dream is not dead. Your dream is alive within you. Don't allow anything from your past or your today, not even your yesterday, to hurt you and try to stop you and define you for being something that society expects you to be for them. Don't dim your light. Keep shining. Keep winning. Because you're more than a conqueror. You're more than that. Because it is in your heart. It is in your space. And these are the highs and lows of the chronicles of a nonprofit. And what I'm telling you is this right here is the epiphany of why so many people give up. Why we see the cage birds singing. And there's another one that comes to mind, but I can't remember it. It's a a theory that comes from after you've been beaten and 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 tortured mentally for so long you began to get this like feeling that that there's no hope and and it keeps you you know you can be young at heart in two different ways you can be young at heart and be immature and ignorant and facetious and overbearing and narcissistic or you can be young at heart and continue to keep pushing through just like the labor you cannot go back and stop the pain from happening at that moment you have to keep persevering and pushing through and I never had any children um, without you know having a cesarean birth so I don't really know what it feels like to have the pain and work through the pain and go through the pain to come out of the pain. But I have dealt with it in other ways. You are a conqueror. You must remember that. You have saved so many lives. You have empowered so many people. You have inspired so many people. There are so many people that are shining just by working at a local gas station that was inspired by you that gets up and picks up garbage and they get a paycheck for that and they're okay with that for the moment. That person was inspired by you. 
keep pushing. Your whole entire future depends on it. And I wish you the best in your life. I do. You know, um, see, the body is magnified and pured by water. Okay, you put that drink inside of you, you feel holistic, you feel good. You got the nurturance, you got the vitamins, you got the minerals, and sometimes you got the pollution, but you got it. You got it within you. Now the ego (laughs) self-inflates, but it's purified by wisdom. Ego is purified. By recognizing that you have not come this far to give up. There is no way in hell you can do that. You know, I'm not saying we're going to shine every day. Mm -mm. I know where you're at. I know what it feels like when you have people to play the mind games, to be your friend, to, to want to come in and truly help you only to find out they're not there to help. Ooh, that's a real eye awakening. But if you persevere through that, you're going to find something else. Thank God for Dr. Darina Shine TV. This has been my saving grace since I can remember. I can remember being the wisdom seeker the person that said what is going on and got on to research what was happening in my life. You can do the very exact same thing. These people didn't know who you were when you were struggling to make it to be where you are and you're nowhere near where you're going to be. These people were not there when you tried your best to provide examinations and and prove yourself through certifications. They weren't there, and they're not going to be there through the long haul. This is only the spiritual essence of rising to the next level to tell yourself, I can do this. Now, will you be fearful and put yourself back into poverty Or will you move forward into authority, into progression, and and create the reality that all things are possible, that no one can stop you if you are doing the next right thing? Nothing can stop you but the fear of something that someone puts in your path just to see you shake, just to see if you got what it takes. And, you know, it frustrates me. It frustrates me, but that frustration has now become dedication. That frustration has now become what it, what I need because life has a way of showing you how even stars can be burned out. <laughs> And how, you know, too much of life, too much of the game in this life can create a black hole. And that's that mysticism. That's where the mysteriousness and the the, um, mystery of life comes in. Because that energy right there in the darkness of your own mind state where you can just listen to your mind. Listen to the next thing that should be done. Follow that path and don't, you know, revert from it. You're going to be a success. You just got to keep going. You just got to keep, keep going because wealth exists not in having great presentations or possessions, but having few wants. That part hit. When you can be rich in your heart and in your mind, because people think 
that it's the material possessions that move you. It's not. (laughs) All those things can be taken away and you will still be your greatest version if you continue to do what your passion tells you to do. You don't need a building to do that. You don't need a, a utility to do that. You don't need a vehicle to do that. You don't. When you find a passion in your heart and it's something that helps people, you're going to always be able to help the people no matter what circumstances come, no matter what disappears, no matter what gets lost. Remember, even Snoop Dogg said, I think I got a black beamer, but my dream is to to own a fly casino like Bugsy Seagull and do it all legal and get swooped up, (laughs) you know? Um, um, these are, these are things that we got to remember at these times when life begins to play the little mind games with the spiritual energies that ain't doing nothing or trying to do something, but they're stuck because they can't, because they're involved with the wrong people that tie them down, that creates a life for them that they bought into. And they can't go any higher. They can't go any further. You know, everybody chooses their own life. So anyone who chooses to do more with their life has the same exact right as one who chooses to give up on life. And I refuse to give up on life. I've come way too far. Mm -mm. Those who hate to go to bed fear death. Those who hate to get up fears life. Remember that. I want you to hold on to that right there because there's a lot of things going on in this world all the way down to the way that we misuse our bodies, misuse our spirit, misuse our minds, use and abuse our physical being. That right there is the key because a lot of people are very, very, very afraid of death and there's no need to be. For what? For what? That's when you're living life. You know, you're living life when you can say, I can lose it all and I'm still going to be okay because I know that I've lost it all and I was okay then and I'm okay again. So with that, everything is temporary. Everything. Now, enjoy life to the fullest, Captain, Captain. (laughs) Enjoying life to the fullest, traveling, meeting people, doing things, feeling empowered. That's great. I hope these inspiration, inspirational chronicles will give you so much joy and positivity to go about your day and beautifully experience what life has to offer you, not what others want you to witness in your life, but what life truly and genuinely has to offer you. As an entrepreneur, my shining entrepreneurs, please remember this. Remember this. The second you give up was the immediate second, millisecond, that the change was going to happen. But you got to recognize that and you got to see that within yourself and you got to want it so bad. You got to feel it so bad. You got to know it so deep in your spirit that not a mistake you made in this world can ever challenge your success because that is what makes you who you are. That passion makes you who you are. So never, ever, ever let that go. And whoever is listening to this, keep going and keep learning. You know, live like no man was ever wise by chance. Live like you were not wise by chance. You knew what was going on. You recognized it. You felt it. You discerned it. You recognized it. But sometimes it's so layered. It's so layered. You can be motivated and the situation, you think that something can happen for you because you initiated it. But what's so crazy about this world is that 
the initiation could actually have come and been planned for you to need to reach out, to find something. And, and, and in reaching out, you find that very thing that is coming in for the good, for the, for the work of what it is you're doing. And sometimes for the, not for the work you're doing. Oh, look what we have here. You know, it could be that type of thing. So being mindful of that and realizing that, uh, in this give don't in in this day of not giving up, <laughs> we're gonna recognize what we're supposed to do. Because I'm telling you, the universalist has taught us, the ancients have taught us, and we know enough. The happiest, the happiest person depends upon the quality of their thoughts. Marcus Aurelius. That is saying. The happy person. Now, I'm not saying they're not going through something. I'm saying they're grateful. I am so grateful to all the people who acknowledge my hard work and and recognize my success in the way that I run the Chronicles of a Nonprofit. Being a leader in the field of helping others that right there in and of itself is a journey because everybody has. Now, I'm not helping everyone. I'm helping those who choose to come and say that you know, or their their path meets mine and we help one another. It is not one where I'm a savior of any sort of or type or kind, or it's not that I'm trying to compete with anyone because I'm in my own lane. What it is, is just the reality that I see a need in this world. So I go to towards helping to make it happen. You know, wealth exists not in having great possessions, but having few wants, you know, having few wants, you don't want anything. Okay. You got everything you need. Half the things that you do want is so unnecessary. It's ridiculous. You know, I have things, this is how hoarders become who they are. Remember this, remember this. Hoarders become who they are because they're so afraid of not having something. They need to have it all. Hmm. And when you need to have it all, you have no room for peace. You have no room for joy. You have no room for success. And all of that is just weight upon your back. Yes. Just love this. And I have been playing Chronicles of a Nonprofit for a very long time. I'm a single mother and a business owner. This helps me stay focused. You have to. You have to. And I know it sounds as though it's sometimes very critical or very analyzing or dissecting. Um, But there is the high and the low. And right now we're talking about the low, um, the physical areas of how people try to empower and impact um, one to give up. And in this giving up, you have the choice at that point where you say, no, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight a little harder. And then this too shall pass because everything does. And when this passes, I'm going to see what, who was all around. Because what it, what happens if you pay attention to the aftermath and you look at it and turn around and see it hindsight, it's 2020. You can see so clearly everything you needed to know when you didn't know what you thought you should have researched to find out. Sometimes things just don't get to the psyche in enough time before the manifestation happens in reality. So we just have to know. Don't view anything as beneficial, which causes you to break promises. 
lose self-respect or hate anyone. When you look at things that this is so important, this is the passion, this is what it is. If it's not within you, if you don't, if you can't get in your, your uh, car, get on a bus, walk to pr- promote your passion, then that's not a passion. That's a material possession. And the benefit of having the material possession is making you feel as though you have the power to do this. But in reality, you take that material possession away, you fall apart. And that is not what success is. It's not that. And you have to trust. You have to trust yourself. And you have to be patient. Things are going to change. You just hold on. You know, you got you got everybody in an uproar with so many things that have happened in the past. They're trying to bring the past to the future and to the present moment. And it's distracting everybody. Everyone's feeling some type of way. You know, you got wars over there. You got people doing crazy things. You got... Things just happening, you know, these are other people's dreams. We're just the observer watching these things come to their manifestation because it's not happening to us, but yet we are a part of the whole complete picture. This is why when we're living in a world of many, many, many millions of people, billions of people, it is important to remember whose dream is whose. Is this your dream? When you watch it on the, the the news, it's so depressing. Is this your dream? Or is this someone pushing propaganda to create a dream state for you? And sometimes we get so caught up and tied up in the dream state until we really and truly believe that, you know, it's real. We believe it. It's here. It's ours. It's something we got to hold and feel guilty about. It's weird, man. This world is a beautiful place if we make it that beautiful place, but we have to make it that beautiful place. I went to sleep listening to your message. I woke up feeling transformed. I like living in the present. I'm enjoying my own company now. Thank you. You know, that's what we have to do. Jennifer, we have to enjoy ourselves first. No medicine, no pain, no um, relationship, no, you know, I had someone tell me the other day that they were interested in, in, you know, connecting with me. Well, in order to connect with me, you have to already be connected. You have to be connected within yourself. And if you're connected within yourself, guess what? You and I are already connected because we're on that level. There's a connect, there's a, a connect there that nothing can take away, not time, space, or any of that. So it's amazing. It's amazing how people feel lonely during this time. They feel that they can't become their own best friend. They can't do things for themselves. They can't, you know, maneuver through. You know, everything is so depressing. Everything is so, you know, um, not happening in their lives because they're putting their adornment into material possessions and those things will not last. They won't last. They will be good one day and eventually everything will just be dust. Your video is a work of art. I love how you compile all the ethics and the principles and values to a, in a meaningful way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I try my best to put everything into a position that says, you know, this is what I've experienced. And I know that if I experienced, I'm not the only one, there's nothing new under the sun. So everything is to give hope, to give that person that ability to say that you can move through it because I did it and she did it and he did it and they did it. It just takes a lot of guts and I'm ready. 
I got the I got it. I got what it takes. I got my armor. I got my protection. I have my wisdom. I have a clear conscience. I have a gifted heart. And I know that within me lies the power of the Most High. And in that power, it cannot be disrupted. It cannot be. And I cannot turn around because there's too many people who need that second chance. So no fear, no threat, nothing is going to stop this. Whether I do it in another community, whether I do it under another name, whether I do what I do and help assist individuals in under the bridge or the alley and pull them out and whatever I have to do in order to make this passion that I came to this planet to do succeed, it shall be done. It shall be done. It will be done. And I have the power of the most high behind me. And I am not. To those who choose to hear this, I am not going to stop giving the the energy that I need to give to show myself that I am that walking example that things can change. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being ready. Thank you for being the best you. You're rocking the best. You, thank you for being the best you that's rocking in the stilettos, the, the uh, shoes that you're in today. You know, the flats, the leather loafers, whatever shoes you're wearing today, you're rocking it. You're doing the damn thing. Keep going because life will get better. The second you give up was the second it was going to happen. Peace and I'm out.